Okay, so uh, this is another comic review from uh, comic my good friend uh, Chris, aka the Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, hope you're watching this. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing the new, new comic he sent me, Batman The Adventure Continues, or Batman Taz uh, The Adventure Continues. This is the uh, animated series, uh, comic uh, continuation of the DC animated universe uh, in Batman. Um, yeah, this is written by Paul Dini and done by Alan Burnett with uh, Ty Templeton and uh, Monica Cabina. This was basically a online series that they put into comics. Like this was, yeah, this was something they did in comic form, and um, basically what it was um, was just a comic series, like a online comic series that they then put out in comics and in in big issues. This is season one. Season two is com is coming out in trade in June, and that one, as for those who don't know, that one deals is going to deal with the Court of Owls. Now this deals with a lot. This deals with a lot of like in like animated universe versions of characters that we have that from Batman that we had we ne we didn't really get in the DC animated universe. Uh, for one, Deathstroke. Even though yes, there was Slade, but that was Teen Titans, and it's kind of considered its own continuity. So yeah, so Deathstroke's here. We also have um, Azrael and. Jason Todd. That's the big one. So yeah, we finally have a uh, big universe of uh, the DC uh, DC animated universe of those three characters. And like I said, the next season will deal with uh, the an animated adaptation of the Court of Owls. And I heard somewhere that it's also going to it also deals with the Batman Who Laughs, which I think on one hand it's like cool an animated version of the Batman Who Laughs, but also an animated version of the Batman Who Laughs. No one asked for that. No one asked for that. <laughs> but yeah. So this is um, done in the an in, in the animated art style, like the animated universe art style. It is also a little more grown up. There are swearing um, characters actually swear. So imagine like it's a, it's kind of like it, the best way to look at this and the best way to describe this comic is that it's an adaptation. It's like a it's kind of like Samurai Jack, you know, how the Samurai Jack final season uh, was brought on Adult Swim, and that's where they got to be a little more adult. This is the same here. But it's not, like, overtly adult. That's the other thing. Just kind of, like, it's there's a little more violence to it, It's but it's not, like, bloody. It's also allowed to swear a little bit, but not overtly. Like I said, the best way to look at this is, like, imagine if this got uh, the Samurai Jack treatment. Now... For eight, there is technically like I think sixteen parts, but they put it in eight issue into an eight issue miniseries, and it's a overarching story involving. And you may be thinking this is a lot to take in because you have a lot of characters making their appearances. Like I said, Deathstroke, Azrael, the um, Jason Todd throughout of it. Jason is the through line throughout the entire comic. That's the big thing is that Jason is this massive through line throughout the entire story. And I don't want to spoil how it is. Like, they, I don't want to spoil... Because you're probably thinking, well, they never introduced Jason in here. And what era in, in the timeline are we talking with this Batman comic? This is set before the new adventures. Like, this is set right before then. And this is, like, Tim... Like, this is, like, the t early Tim era before you know, the show came back as the new adventures of Batman and Robin, and it had that whole character redesign. And it does have a lot of the classic character designs, but this all it also, like, we get to see what happened with, um, uh, how it kind of retcons Jason to fit the continuity, which is going to either A, impress you, or B, confuse you and be like, this makes no sense. I'm. I think it's cool, but like I do on the other standpoint, I'm not gonna spoil how they they retcon Jason Todd into the DC animated continuity to fit. It does involve Joker. It does involve that, and yeah, Paul Dini gets to write these characters, and it's kind. And yeah, that's the other major thing is that with when you have Paul Dini and Alan Burnett um, working on this comic you can feel like this is like the, you're watching an episode of the show 
Like you can feel like this is a this is a story that you can hear like Kevin Conroy's voice uh, for Batman. You can hear um, uh, Mark Hamill's Joker. You can hear all of them come back like Tara Strong back as uh, Batgirl. Um, as for new characters, I like to imagine just personally Jensen Ackles as uh, Jason Todd as Red Hood because he's just kind of he was just kind of perfect for the role. So um, I just kind of mentally imagine uh, Jensen Ackles voicing Red Hood as uh, as well as Ron Perlman voicing Deathstroke again. Technically, uh, he did voice him in Slade as Slade, and I think he also did um, Deathstroke in um, Injustice. Not 100% on that. I can't remember the exactly, but yeah. Um, as for Azrael, I kind of imagined... Um, uh, <laughs> Azrael, I kind of imagined who would they cast for Azrael um, is going to be a little interesting because the person I imagined was... Um, I don't know who's going to remember this, but if anyone's seen the movie Warlock uh, or... Uh, you probably know him best. The actor who played the the character of Warlock uh, from the horror trilogy, Warlock. And also, you probably know him best as the professor, Julian Sands. That's the actor I'm trying to get at. Um, Julian Sands as Azrael. I don't know why I thought Julian Sands... Like, like in my head, I was picturing... I was imagining Julian Sands' voice for Azrael. But when I say it out loud, like, you kind of imagine it, too. <laughs> um... So yeah, and for Ada, like keep in mind that this in the com in the when it was online, the comics were a lot smaller. But in here, when they put it to print, they kind of combined some of the issues together, like some of the stories together, to make a whole issue. It also goes without saying that this is eight issues, but I really do feel like the first issue, Hardware, which involves uh, Batman confronting Luthor, uh, who's been st trying to steal the the body of Brainiac, because this is before they fused into one being. Um, it's kind of funny that we have. Uh, it's, it does feel a little out of place, but it does feel like a like a str like a Batman episode. And yeah, you do see Big Blue in here too. Um, it's a little wonky. Like that's how we start is a Batman Luthor throwdown. That's all right. And then the through line of like Deathstroke, and then Azrael, and then we build to finally Jason Todd in here, which I find is like why. Are you, why are we trying to hide that it's Jason Todd throughout the entire um, storyline? Like, I found that kind of weird that they were trying to, like, they really were trying to hide really hard that it was Jason Todd the whole time. And then when they had the reveal, it's like, to the shock of no one, like, literally, like, some, like I was like, was anyone shocked by this? Like, they were, were like, it was like ringing a gong of, like, it's Jason in the animated series. Yeah. So, yeah, all in all, this is a really good book. If you are a fan of the classic of the classic animated series, you need to get this book. And Chris, I know you're watching this, my bro, my brother. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for this. This was so. This was such a great read. Um, I know you already pre-ordered season two for me, so I can't wait to read and review that. But this was completely awesome. Like I said, if you enjoyed uh, the Batman animated series, you're more than likely gonna love this. It's like a back. It's like a unused scripts for an, for a seat for a season of the show. So anyway, so there you go, guys. That's my glowing recommendation for Batman animated for Batman the Adventure Continue. The Adventures Continue. Um, but if you've read the comic, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And other than that, I am Mr. Multiverse, and I'll see you next time in the multiverse.